right, one more resolution I'd love you to address, and that is the one on shared prosperity. What will that actually mean? Shared prosperity, of course, we're all for it. But, but what does that mean to have that resolution passed at this convention? Well, you have a, a country right now where the top 1% are gaining all the power and the wealth at the expense of the 99% of Americans who are try, trying to play by the rules every single day, uh, that are working hard. Uh, trying to make ends meet, putting food on the table, trying to send their kids to school, but the playing field is not level. It's not level. And we've got to level the playing field. We've got to, we've got to develop programs and have programs and push for programs which support working families, not supporting banks and corporations, but supporting working families to give them a fair shot at achieving the American dream. And right now, that's not happening. And that's why we're opposed to uh, these massive tax cuts uh, for corporations. Uh, we're opposed to uh, the austerity measures that uh, a lot of the Republicans in Washington, D.C. Are, are pushing. We're opposed to governors who are attacking collective bargaining, attacking workers' rights, attacking civil rights, attacking voting rights all across this country. That's taking power and strength away from working families who, who, are, who are trying to play by the rules, and we're going to continue to fight that.